this video we'll talk about how to get started with smart controls in Logic Pro. First, let's create a new track. We're going to use Electric Piano in this example. Now press B to open Smart Control Panel. Smart Controls let you quickly adjust the sound of a track without having to edit channel strip settings or open individual plugin windows. You can easily switch between different layouts that include knobs, buttons and pop-up menus. In this example we are going to use Melatron. Now we can see a set of screen controls that we can adjust to control the sound of the patch. And it's up to you what you want to include. Now let's add some audio effects. We will be using echo and a reverb. If you look at the top right corner of the panel you can see the button. This gives you quick access to our arpeggiator and also you can easily switch between different presets. Our patch is ready and we can talk about mapping. First let's reset the panel. Now we can open our first plugin and select some of the parameters we want to control. There are different ways to assign controls. You can use learn function and select the parameters that you want to use. In this instance we are going to use arpeggiators rate, note order, scales, range and latch mode. Now we can close the ARP. If you don't want to manually assign the parameters you can let logic do it for you automatically. Go to settings and select map all unmapped controls. Logic will select the most important parameters from your plugins on your channel strip. As we can see the second section is assigned to the echo and the third one to our instrument but it doesn't include the reverb. Let's select the knob and go to the menu. Here we can choose the parameters that we want to assign. In this example we are going to use wet and also decay time. There are a few things that you can do to customize your knobs. For example we can invert or adjust the scaling. You can simply click on the line to create a new point and now we can see how it responds. If you hold option key you can convert the line and make it flexible. So this way you can create smooth transitions. Also Logic Pro allows you to assign multiple parameters to a single knob. Let's see how it's done. Let's go to settings and add new mapping. And now we are able to add a new parameter to the same knob. In this example we will go for the size. And if we turn the knob, you can see that both parameters are affected. And also you can invert one of them. If you are using a MIDI controller, you can use external assignment. Simply select the knob and move it on your controller. And now we can see what our custom instrument is capable of. So this is how you can create your custom controls. And those layouts can be saved and used for live performance or generating some ideas.